Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to be doing a makeup bag switch up. I really like doing these as we approach a new season and we are slowly but surely coming into spring. It was literally snowing yesterday but that will not stop me from filming a spring makeup bag update for you. I definitely am one of those people who switches up their routine ever so slightly as we approach a new season. There will be certain products, certain colours perhaps that I really like to reach for and in spring definitely I am all about the cream products. I love a cream bronzer, cream blush and I definitely reach for blushes and lipsticks that are a bit more vibrant that add just a bit more of a pop of colour to the face. So I really hope that you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to see what's in my makeup bag for spring, then just keep watching. So for my base, I'm still heavily relying on my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury to give me a little bit of a glow. My skin is still very dry. So I am always looking for good skincare in the morning. Definitely skin prep is very important. And also something that is just going to give a bit more radiance to my skin. And um, this is in the shade too fair. The shade for me at the moment is a really good match. As we move into the summer, I will probably switch this out for my e.l.f. Halo Glow. And um, that's just a tiny bit darker, so I don't really find I can get away with it this time of year, but when I have a little bit more of a tan, it is um, definitely a better colour match. But at the moment, I've been loving my Flawless Filter. I use it all over the skin as a primer, and yeah, this is one of my all-time favourite products. So to go along with that, I threw in my Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I feel like Glossier is having a bit of a resurgence at the moment. They are now available on Sephora, I believe just in the US. So I don't know if we will be guessing Glossier um, on Sephora UK, but you can obviously still buy from their website and they have a pop-up in London as well, I believe. I've been seeing a lot more Glossier content popping up in my subscription feed, so it did encourage me to add this into my bag as well. It's in my project pan, so it's one that I try and reach for as often as I can really and it's such a sheer product I think perfecting skin tint skin tint is almost over egging it a little bit <laughs> because it's so sheer it's just like a moisturizer honestly it leaves your skin with a nice even veil but in terms of coverage I mean it's next to nothing so I do really enjoy it on those days where I just want something super lightweight really breathable and then I can go in and spot conceal with my concealer where needed and I do have the shade G10 for reference so I have another project pan item and that is the RMS and cover up concealer. I literally sound like a broken record at this point, but look, I mean, we're really, really coming close to finishing this. So I am determined to add it in every video until, until it's gone. I've really enjoyed using this concealer. It's a really nice one underneath the eyes because it is slightly hydrating. It's a lot more emollient than other concealers that I've used. And yeah, it just sits really nicely under the skin, under the skin, under the eyes. <laughs> I also did dot a little bit around my face as well today because the Glossier doesn't add any coverage really. I did want to just conceal a few more kind of red patches around my skin. So this works really well around the face as well. It's a good all round concealer. I do always add a powder or two into my makeup bag as well. I don't use a lot of powder, but um, it is something that I still use pretty much on a daily basis. So I did add in my Bite Beauty Change Maker. Bite Beauty are sadly out of business, but I am trying to use this up. This is another project pan item. <laughs> if you are looking for something that is really similar to that, I do recommend the Rimmel Stay Matte. So I thought that I would include this here just as an alternative because obviously the Bite One you can't purchase anymore. But I do find that these two are very similar in the way that they feel and apply. They are finely milled, but not as much as the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. These are a tiny bit stiffer in the pan than the Charlotte Tilbury, but I do still really like them. They're still really smoothing. And yes, I do find the Rimmel one to be a very good alternative. As I said in the intro, I've been really enjoying cream bronzers, cream blushes. I just find they give your cheeks a really nice, healthy, juicy look without needing to add a highlight, even though I have added a highlight. <laughs> But um, I reached for my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. This is a really good stick bronzer. I am so close to finishing this. I can't twist it up anymore. So I'm literally just digging out the product that's in the, um, in the end here. These are really easy to use, super easy to blend out. I tend to just um, take my brush and kind of dot it over the top and then apply to the face. I find that I get the most even application that way and it just makes it a little bit easier to blend as well. This is more on the warm side of things in terms of the shade, but in the spring, as we move into the summer, which feels months and months away, 
but um, I'm sure it'll be here before we know it. I do like something that just adds a bit more warmth, a little bit more of a bronzy feel to the skin. So I really enjoy this. So I pulled out three blushes, which it seems a bit excessive <laughs> now that I think about it, but I do love blush, especially in the spring. There is nothing better than a pop of pink, a pop of peach, a coral. I just, I love a blush in the spring. So at the moment I'm wearing the Glossier Cow Paint and Dawn. As I said, very inspired by Glossier at the moment because um, I'm just seeing them everywhere on my feed. So I did pick up the shade Dawn and this is a very, very bright shade. It's a really nice bright coral, orange, terracotta, very bright and you do not need a lot. These are a very classic, easy kind of liquid formula to work with. Even though they are very pigmented, they do blend out really nicely. So just go in with a very, very small amount and just keep working it, keep blending it into the skin and I promise you it will look just really gorgeous and beautiful. They give the cheeks a really nice, juicy, healthy glow as well. And I really enjoy the shades. I think that the shade Dawn is very different. I don't have anything like it in my collection and it just adds such a nice pop to the cheeks. Another liquid blush I pulled out was the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is more of your blush highlighter hybrid product. So it's very glowy, very illuminating. I didn't go in with this one today because I obviously used the Glossier, um, but this is the shade Pink Gasm. A really nice rosy tone. And again, it has a really nice pearlescence, a really nice glow to it as well. So if you're doing a more minimal makeup look and you don't want to use a highlighter in addition to your blush and bronzer, this is a really good blush to go in with. Um, very versatile and yeah, it does make the cheeks look super juicy, super flawless. Lastly, I did throw in a powder blush. I was going to top my cheeks off with this one today, but I went a bit heavier with the Glossier blush, so I didn't think it was really necessary. This is one of the new Too Faced ones. This is in Tequila Sunset. And again, a very nice bright corally pink. Love these shades, honestly, I think they just Add such a nice pop, a really nice warmth to the cheeks, and I really do enjoy the formula of these. They are a matte blush, so I find that they blend really nicely into the skin and they do last quite a long time as well. The only thing that has me a bit hesitant is the very strong cinnamon scent. I don't know why you would want a cinnamon scented blush, but it makes me think that it's going to really irritate my cheeks or something. It doesn't, by the way. Um, but yeah, a bit of an odd bit of an odd scent but I do really like these the packaging as well is really cute and again the shade tequila sunrise is just the perfect spring summer blush so I'm really excited to get a lot more use out of this because I am a crazy lady and my flawless filter and nice glowy blush clearly isn't enough for me I did also add in my liquid highlight from Charlotte Tilbury this is the beauty light one in spotlight I adore this highlighter I would say that this is quite an intense highlight, but in a natural way, if that makes sense. It's not packed full of glitter, so on the cheeks, it just really does bounce the light. It makes your cheeks look so reflective. You get a really nice strobe across the cheeks, but it doesn't sit on top of the skin. It just melts in really beautifully. It's almost undetectable, and I just love it. I really love this blush, bronzer, highlight web. <laughs> it's a highlight. <laughs> I really do enjoy this. I know that these are very, very hyped up. And if I'm being completely honest, I much prefer the highlight over the glowy blush ones. So if you have a couple of cream blushes in your collection that you really like and you really enjoy, and you're tempted by the Glowgasm, I would say give the beauty, what are these called? Beauty light wand a go first. You can mix this in with your cream blush and then obviously use it just on its own as well. And yeah, I really like this. I much prefer it. So yeah, do you feel like you have to go out and buy this one if you have some cream products and a nice liquid illuminator you can kind of get a very similar effect my brows don't really change season to season and um, so i just pulled out my two kosas brow products which i'm really enjoying um a very spring packaging though uh, the purple is yeah very very on season so i do like that <laughs> this is the brow pot pencil from kosas and then i have the air brow gel as well really enjoy these two they just make my brows look really good every time and they stay like that as well throughout the day. The gel is really good at holding your brow hairs in place. So if you struggle with your brow hairs going all over the place, then I do recommend this gel. And the brow pot pencil, it's got a slightly thicker end to it. So if you want a really quick brow application, you're not worried about creating individual hair strokes and you just want something that's going to deposit some colour and add a bit of definition, then I think the brow pot pencil is a really, really nice one. I pulled out two different eyeshadow palettes. These are quite small. 
So I'm gonna start with the one I'm not wearing on my eyes at the moment, and that is the NARS Voyage Palette in Hibiscus. I pulled this one out because of the really pretty pinks and peaches. Um, I was gonna use my Lisa Eldridge palette instead, but this does have those two neutrals in there, so I thought this would be just a bit more versatile. Yeah, this is a really nice one. I mean, it's no surprise that NARS includes these peachy pinks in pretty much every palette that they do. Kind of what they're known for is their shade, but they love it. Okay, these are really nice quality. I love this neutral shimmer shade up here. It's more of a taupey, kind of taupey brown, but I really like it. I think it's a really good, easy, everyday shimmer shade to go in with. And then of course, if you want a slightly brighter pop of color, then you have the option as well. So yeah, I really like this. It's really small, easy. It does fit into your makeup bag nicely. I then also included the Fizzy Art Quad that I've been raving about, and it's in Amelie. It's one of their petite fours. And this is just the most cute little quad you've ever seen, isn't it? I love this. The shimmers in here are just so stunning, so divine. So I went in with all four shades today. So I started off with this medium warm brown and I just dusted that through the crease of my eye. These are quite pigmented, so I went in with a very light hand because I didn't want too much color to show off the bat. <laughs> and then I went in with the really nice rose gold and I used that on the inner half of my lid. I then went in with this more kind of like a deeper pink shimmer. Really nice, really unique shade. And I use that on the outer half of my lid and it just creates like the most beautiful kind of sunset shimmer eye look. It's like golden, it's peachy, it's rosy. I just really enjoy it. And then I just buffed a bit of the deep brown on my lower lash line. So yeah, really enjoying this at the moment. I think the shimmers are very spring appropriate because they just add a lot of light and brightness to the eyes. And again, the quality is just 10 out of 10 phenomenal. So yes, really enjoying that. And I think between the two of these, you can get quite a lot of variety. So I do enjoy those. I like my looks to be quite light and bright. So I haven't included any eyeliner. Eyeliner kind of on a day-to-day -day basis, I can take it or leave it. I'm not too precious. So if I do fancy an eyeliner, then I can just reach into my collection and grab one. But on a daily basis, I'm happy with a couple of eyeshadows and a good layer of mascara. So talking of mascara, I am going to include my e.l.f. Lash and Roll. This is a very obvious dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash, and I do think that it does a good job at being a really nice alternative. The Roller Lash, I feel like, was slightly more of a wet formula. This one is a little bit more dry. You don't get a lot of product, actually, on the brush, um, but it's still a really nice one to lengthen and define, and it does hold a curl really nicely as well. So my lip products are definitely something that I switch out quite a lot. And as we move into spring, I do really enjoy something a bit brighter, something that is a bit more coral leaning perhaps. So I have three options. Um, if I'm literally running out the door and I want something really light, fuss free, if I'm going to like the gym or something, or if I just don't have a lot of makeup on, but I do want to add a bit of a nice, a nice lip balm then i reached for my Laneige lip glowy balm this is in the grapefruit flavor scent color i mean it's basically colorless it's very sheer so honestly you could buy any one of the Laneige glowy balms and you would probably get a similar effect on the lips but they are so hydrating and so lovely they smell really nice as well obviously this is the grapefruit scent but Oh, it just reminds me of summer, honestly. I love the scent so much. And these are super hydrating, really easy to throw into your bag. If you're going on holiday to like somewhere nice and hot and tropical, this would be just a lovely everyday lip balm to take with you to the beach or something. Really like it, really easy. And again, a very hydrating, just nice nourishing option. If I want a little bit more going on and perhaps I've got more of a full face of makeup on like today, I reach for my Essence Lip Liner in First Love. This is a really nice pink shade, so it's a bit brighter. Not your kind of classic neutral beige, which are the types of shades I reach for quite a lot. This is definitely brighter. It's gonna add a bit more color and life to the face, but I really enjoy these. They're literally like one pound or something. They're so cheap, but really, really good. And yeah, love this shade. It's just a nice one for the spring and summer if you want something a bit brighter. And to top that off, I reached in for my Maybelline Lifter Gloss. 
really loving a lip liner and lip gloss combo at the moment and this is just one that i have found and i've really been enjoying day to day um so this is in the shade reef which is a really nice pinky coral shade i find that it complements the lip liner really nicely but it does have that slight coral undertone as well so it goes nicely with the blush picks as well and um, that i've picked up but yeah i really like these they're really creamy they're just a really nice gloss they add a nice amount of shine to the lips but they feel more creamy than they do a traditional sticky gloss and this little lip duo here shouldn't cost you any more than 10 pound so a really good affordable spring lip duo in my opinion so that is my transitional makeup bag that i will be bringing into spring as i said i do try and do these every season so in a couple of months i will probably have one for summer as well so if you do want to stay tuned for that then make sure that you are subscribed and if you enjoyed don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well and i will see you in my next video bye